Hello my dear family members, today we will discuss a coding question which was asked in Tech Mahindra assessment on 10th March. I am pretty much sure you are very much enthusiastic about the question. So let's see what's the question. So the question is regarding, let's say you are given a list of integers and an integer k, write an algorithm to find the number of elements in the list that are strictly less than k. So here's the sample input, I mean the input format that is the first line of the input consists of an integer element size and which is representing the number of elements in the list, right? This is the first line and the second line consists of n space separated integers. Uh, which will be the element of that list right and the last line that is the third line that is consisting of an integer uh, this, that is also an integer number which is representing the number to be compared okay so the sample input is this right so here's the sample output format that is print a positive integer representing the number of elements in the list that are strictly less than the comparable number right so uh, here's the constraints given so please follow that and here's the sample input so inputs is so 7 is the size of that array or list and these these are the elements which is space separated right and this is the number which is to be compared right so output is 4 so how because the, all the numbers present inside this list uh, among them only four numbers four digits are such present in this array or list which are less than five okay so that's why we we are, we are printing four as the output right so let's take as take another example so that it can be more clear okay so let's say the number of elements is six and the array elements are let's say four three six eight nine and let's say one okay so you are given let's say five okay this number to be compared and what should be output in this case so at first we have to find what are the digits or number present inside this array which are less than strictly less than five that means uh that that not that uh, must not be less than equal that must be equal that, that must be less than right so what are the numbers or digits that those are one three four apart from these uh, nothing are present which is uh, less than five right so that's why our output should be three in this case right so i hope you understood what the task is and what you should what the logic you should follow right so if you understood then as usual start solving the problem and give the answer in the comment section before i give right so uh, as of now i'll solve the problem in java so if you want in python then let me know i'll try to assist you in the comment section right so let's solve the problem but before you proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want any materials then let me know in the comment section or in the uh, instagram account insta instagram.com slash techno.ef i will try to provide you okay so let's go to the solution part so what should be our approach to the solution right so at first we have to take the inputs right so at first number uh, size then space separated array elements then the comparable number then what should be our approach that is at first we have to go through all the elements and uh, while going through the elements we have to parallelly check if that element is less than that comparable uh, number if less than then will count uh, we will increase count plus one that's why we have to take a separate i mean a third variable that is count to count the uh, comparable numbers right so how much how much digit how many digits are there uh, which is less than strictly less than comparable number okay so let's go to the solution so at first let's create the scanner class object scanner is c is equal to new scanner system dot in and at first we have to take the size of array right so int n is equal to sc dot distinct so i'm just taking the size of array then i have to take uh, the array elements right so at first initialize the array int uh, array is equal to new int and give the size okay 
now what we have to do that is we have to run a for loop to get to to to, to get the space separated elements in which will be added to the array right so for int i is equal to 0 i less than array dot size and i plus plus okay sorry array dot length okay so i'll what i do that is just uh, let me fix it okay so array i i will take all the elements by from the user right so sc dot next int okay so as of now i have taken the user inputs and the array elements from the user and i have stored them inside the error array right so now what i would do that is i'll again run a for loop and go through the all elements then i will compare if uh, the array i elements is lesser than that comparable number or not right so our third line should be int comparable number that is sc dot next int okay so now we'll run a for loop to compare okay so uh, i'll compare if array i is lesser than that comparable number or not if error i is lesser than that comparable number or not so if this uh, becomes true then what i would do i will increase the count right so count should be plus is equal to one so at first we have to initialize that count okay okay f and if this is not plus i mean if this becomes false then what i would do i'll continue the loop okay so if i use continue then the loop uh, the the control will go to the next iteration right so i hope you understood so let's print the count and see if this keep right output or not so system dot out dot print sorry so let's print the count i hope this will give proper output okay so as i'm using scanner class so let's import that import java dot util dot scanner class okay so i hope this will be fine so let me run it sorry i have to initialize the count variable count is equal to zero right so i hope this will be fine now so at first the size of the array 7 and the elements are 1, 7, 4, 3, 5 and 6 then 2 okay so 4, 3, 7 so comparable number is 5 and output should be 4 right so as expected okay let's run for this input so let me run it again and the size of the element should be uh, 6 and the elements are 4, 3, 6 8 9 and 1 right and the comparable number is 5 output should be 3 right and as expected right so i hope you understood the logic behind this syntax this logic behind this code so this is very simple code and you can be astonished that uh, this much of easy question are being asked in this uh, actual exam yes this type of easy question are being asked right so uh, please give importance to uh, any questions that you see in the internet and start solving whenever you think that uh, it can be difficult for you okay so if you uh, want any other content then let me know and if you want any uh, company material then also let me know in the telegram channel uh, t.me slash thank you for today's session